The blood of the holy martyrs is poured out for Christ upon the earth. Therefore they have gained everlasting rewards. <clears throat> In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Today we are celebrating the feasts of St. Andrew Kim Tegon, Paul Chong Asang, and 10,000 other martyrs of Korea. We'll say a little more about that later. So we pray and ask them all to keep us all in our prayers and to pray for the country of Korea that the Christians will be allowed to continue living their lives and following Christ. Lord Jesus, your mighty God and Prince of Peace, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, your Son of God and Son of Mary, Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, your Word made flesh and splendor of the Father, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, you have been pleased to increase your adopted children in all the world and who made the blood of the martyrs, St. Andrew Kim Tegon and his companions, a most fruitful seed of Christians. Grant that we may be defended by their help and profit always by their example. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. reading of the first letter of St. Paul to Timothy. At the moment of writing to you, I am hoping that I may be with you soon, but in case I should be delayed, I wanted you to know how people ought to behave in God's family, that is, in the church of the living God, which upholds the truth and keeps it safe. Without any doubt, the mystery of our religion is very deep indeed. He was made visible in the flesh, attested by the Spirit, seen by angels, proclaimed to the pagans, believed in by the world, taken up in glory. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Great are the works of the Lord. Great are the works of the Lord. I will thank the Lord with all my heart in the meeting of the just and their assembly. Great are the works of the Lord, to be pondered by all who love them. Great are the works of the Lord. Majestic and glorious his work. His justice stands firm forever. He makes us remember his wonders. The Lord is compassion and love. Great are the works of the Lord. He gives food to those who fear him, keeps his covenant ever in mind. He has shown his might to his people by giving them the lands of the nations. Great are the works of the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Accept God's message for what it really is. God's message and not some human thinking. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The 
The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus said to the people, What description can I find for the men of this generation? What are they like? They are like children shouting to one another while they sit in the marketplace. We played the pipes for you and you wouldn't dance. We sang dirges and you wouldn't cry. For John the Baptist comes not eating bread, not drinking wine, and you say he's possessed. The Son of Man comes eating and drinking, and you say, Look, a glutton, a drunkard, a friend of tax collectors and sinners. Yet wisdom has been proved right by all her children. The Gospel of the Lord. Korea began receiving the Christianity, the message of Christ from lay people. It was a, Paul, I think his name was, the first man to be converted in China, of all places. And he brought Christianity to Korea. And within days, I think we had 10 followers. And this was to grow and grow. And it was just lay people, no priests. St. Andrew Kim Taigan, he went to China later. And while in China, he trained and became a priest. And he was the first priest to come to Korea. And he began his ministry. But within 12 months of coming back to Korea, he was martyred with thousands of others. And in, I think it was 1987, Pope John Paul canonized St. Andrew and all the martyrs, 10,000 martyrs of Korea. The faith carried on, but two more, they, they managed to talk two more men to come back from China as priests. But within months, weeks, they were martyred to arrested and beheaded. And this went on, but the Christianity didn't stop growing. The tremendous faith, the people of Korea, and Christianity is still in that country. But even today, many suffer because they are Christians. And so we pray for the people of Korea. We pray that the message will spread. We pray that they'll follow the example of St. Andrew Kim and all the martyrs, how they were unafraid to face the worse. But for them, of course, it wasn't the worse. They knew they would be rewarded with a place in God's kingdom. Tremendous faith they had. So let us ask the Lord to help us with our faith. Thankfully, we're not being persecuted in the way they are. But we do have difficulties at times. And it's for us to be able to stand up and be proud that each and every one of us are members of the family of Christ. And that we do our best to spread the message through our example, through our love, through our care, and most importantly, through our prayer and the sacraments. So we stand now for our prayers.
as we rejoice to share with St. Andrew, Kim Sagan, and his companions the faith that they professed at so high a cost. Let us turn our thoughts and prayers to the needs of all people, believers or not. We pray for the repose of the souls of K.P. Pathros and K.P. Thomas, whose anniversary is today and for whom we're offering this Mass. Lord, in your mercy. We pray that the Church, cooperate witness to Christ and all he stood for, may be united in courageously presenting to the world the good news of freedom from sin and death. Lord, in your mercy. We pray that world leaders might be inspired to set their hearts not on power but on every opportunity of service of the weak and oppressed. Lord, in your mercy. For the churches that persecution forces into silence, that their faith may realize that mustard seeds too grow in silence. Lord, in your mercy. We pray that our thoughts turn more over to those who feel there is nothing worth living for or fighting for, that on them Christ may shed a ray of light to dispel that gloom and warm that indifference into love. Lord, in your mercy. We ask Mary to join with us as we say together, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Let us pray, too, for the people of Libya and Morocco as they're trying to get over the terrible disasters they've experienced over the past two weeks. Lord, in your mercy. Lord our God, may the lives of your holy ones, St. Andrew Kim, Tagon, and companions, inspire us to a greater endeavor in the service of your church. May our lives be abundant in good works through Christ our Lord. Bless thee, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread. We offer you fruit to the earth, work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Bless By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Bless thee, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit to the vine, work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. With humble spirit and contrite hearts, may we be accepted by you, O Lord, and may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash us, O Lord, from our iniquities, cleanse us all of our sins. Pray, my friends, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Amen. 
Look with favor, Almighty God, on the offerings of your people, and through the intercession of the blessed martyrs, grant that we ourselves may become a sacrifice acceptable to you for the salvation of all the world, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you are glorified when your saints are praised, that their suffering are but wonders of your might. In your mercy you give ardor to their faith, to their endurance you grant firm resolve, and in their struggle for victory is yours. Through Christ our Lord, therefore all creatures of heaven and earth sing the new song in adoration. And we with all the hosts of angels cry out, and without end we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. <coughs> you are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Alan, our Bishop, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, St. Michael, St. Andrew Kim, St. God, and all his companions, and all the saints who are pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, 
in the unity of the Holy Spirit. All glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. To save his command and form by divine teaching, we pray, Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. The body and blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life. An act of spiritual communion for those who have joined us online. Lord Jesus, we believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. We love you above all things. We desire to receive into our souls. And since we cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into our hearts. We embrace you as if we're already there and unite ourselves wholly to you. Never permit us to be separated from you. Amen. <clears throat> Everyone who acknowledges me before others, I will acknowledge before my heavenly Father, says the Lord.
Let us pray. Nourished with the food of the valiant, as we celebrate the blessed martyrs, we humbly ask you, O Lord, that clinging faithfully to Christ, we may labor in the church for the salvation of all, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. May Almighty God bless us all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth proclaiming the gospel of the Lord. Amen. Thank you all very much, and have a nice day. And if anybody can help with the cleaning of the church, we'd appreciate it very much.